are now going to go and check out the Teeling Stones as soon as I'm in this area. Uh, I like to come and have a look at these stones at least once or twice every three years <laughs> just to make sure the vibes are still okay with them and they are somewhere over there and there somewhere they are they lurk three very unusual stones walking fast walking fast walking very fast 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 Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. Walking fast, walking right, fast, so walking here, very folks. fast. Goodness me, that was really cold in the, the woods there, but this is a lot uh, more open, so therefore the sun's shining through. Wonderful. No, I mean, look at this. I mean, come on. That's so annoying, man. Look at that. A big pile of litter. I mean, why? It's just pathetic. It's so annoying. Spoils the walk. Now the view from here is incredible. Look, you can see right over the Tay along into Fife. Amazing. What a view. Glorious. I was just filming the view there. It's a man. I don't know what he was doing here, but obviously he's not at the stones. Goodness me, the middle of nowhere. There's always somebody there. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? Anyway, beautiful. Love this part of the world. Nice and peaceful. Oh. And uh, the whole area here is kind of tainted with picked history. The stones we're about to see probably date from, I don't know, 600 AD or something. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the stones have been there long before, but uh, probably the man first came on the stones around about 600 AD and there's a cup mark on one of them, which you don't know what it's all about. But over that way towards the Lethem, or that way forth for Lethem, the Battle of Nechtansmia was fought in 684 AD, where the Picts rebelled the Northumberland Invaders sent them packing the Battle of Nechtansmere and the Dunachin Stone. Let's go back and have another look at that soon. Right, anyway, the stones are almost visible. They're just beside that tree in the middle there. Look at them all bowing before me. See how windy it is. Disaster, folks. The stones seem to be right overgrown. Oh no, there they are. Look, here they are. I found them. Oops. There's one. There's the other one. Yeah. Got to touch the stones, man. Touch you. Hello. Hello there, stone. How are you doing? Alrighty. Oh, somebody's put a stone in the actual cup hole itself. Look, there's the cup hole. Wow. So, mysterious stones. What were they used for? And there is that rather odd cup mark there. Maybe another little shallow indentation there. And then this beauty over here. The big boy. There he is. A little bit overgrown today, I'm afraid. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, the Teeling Stones. So I'm not too sure what they've been used for or why they're here. I think they were just maybe like a, a little resting place on the way towards Lethem or Dunachin a little area where they would come and chill out for a bit. It's quite hidden. Trees there, 
nice little bit of land. I've got some uh, some spectators behind me there. The sheep are all chilling, just watching me here. Hey guys! All right, we've got the big road down there as well. Yeah, so a nice little area. I do like it here. I must say, it's nice and peaceful. Yeah, good vibes from these stones, man. I like this one here with a cup marker in there. It is. I'm gonna chill here. Just sit for half an hour. Just have a chill. And more wild raspberries. Loads of them. Excellent.